In this video, we'll talk about the other two methods for solving non-homogeneous linear systems. So undetermined coefficients is another approach, and it works basically the same way as it did for second order equations. The idea is basically we're going to guess the form of the solution based on the non-homogeneous part, and we'll have unknown coefficients that we will solve for to attempt to get the solution to the non-homogeneous problem. The main difference here is that all of these coefficients will now be vectors, so there's more unknowns to solve for, but the process is the same. We still have the same tricks of multiplying by t if something solves the homogeneous problem. But in this case, you generally want to include both the part you multiplied by t and the original part in the answer because of how the eigenvalues and eigenvectors work. It depends on how the vectors line up with the equation, how this works. So you want to include both the t version and the non-t version when trying to solve for these coefficients. For instance, if you had something where 1 was an eigenvalue, then the eigenvalue solution has an e to the t in it. If you have an e to the t in your non-homogeneous part, you think let's multiply by t. But it might turn out just plugging in the unknown constant a times t e to the t is not enough because of how the matrix arranges these vectors when you plug in a. So you will also want to include just the b times e to the t term even though e to the t solves the homogeneous problem, it solves it when b is the right eigenvector. So if b is not the right eigenvector, this will carry through to the answer. So you don't know how it's all going to interact, so you want to include all of these terms when trying to put together the guess for these undetermined coefficient solutions for systems. Variation of parameters, on the other hand, works pretty much the exact same way we did before, but it's going to almost look better for the systems case than it did for the second order equations. So the idea is that we find the general solution to the homogeneous problem. That we're going to say the problem that we start with is x prime equals some matrix A of t. I'm going to allow this to depend on t because it could. In practice, it'll be constant coefficient, but it could depend on t. It doesn't affect the method. Times x plus our function f, that is the non-homogeneous part. So you find the general solution to the homogeneous problem, which will just be x prime is A of t times x which we'll say is C1 times solution X1 plus C2 solution X2 up to Cn solution Xn. And I can rewrite this in the form capital X of T times the vector C, where I take this matrix capital X to be the matrix that is composed of columns that are each of these solutions. So X1 in the first column, X2 in the second, x3 in the third, xn in the last. So I built this matrix, this fundamental matrix of solutions that is this capital X, and my general solution looks like this. Now the idea of variation of parameters is I know for any constant c, this solves the homogeneous problem. So what I want to do is now vary that parameter, make it a function of t, and see if I can make that solve the non-homogeneous problem. So we will guess our function x to be x of t times an unknown vector u of t. And let's plug this in. Now little x prime we can find by the product rule. It's gonna be big x prime of t times the vector u of t plus x of t times the vector u prime of t. This is x prime, which I would now want to equal a times little x plus f. So a times big x times u of t plus f. Now, based on how x is built, since each column of x solves the homogeneous problem, we know that big x prime of t is the same as a times big x of t, because they all solve the homogeneous problem, which then means that this term here and this term here cancel out. So what I am left with then is that to make this solve the non-homogeneous problem, I want x of t u prime of t to equal the vector f of t. Now since x of t is a fundamental matrix, it is invertible, which means then that u prime of t will equal x of t inverse times f of t, which is a vector I can solve for. I can then integrate, and then that will give me my solution by multiplying my fundamental matrix x by this vector here. 
So the non-homogeneous solution will be of the form x of t is big X of t, this fundamental matrix, times integral x of t inverse f of t dt. It looks kind of messy, and it'd be hard to work with this without knowing x of t in advance or knowing that things were constant coefficient to make this work out easier. But this does give us always a solution to this problem that will solve the non-homogeneous version of it. We can then add in the general solution to the homogeneous part that we've already found because we know what x of t is, and that will give us the general solution to the non-homogeneous equation using various different parameters. So it looks even simpler here. There's no sort of weird condition coming out of it, and we'll see that a little bit later. But it gives us a method for working out the solution. Once we have this fundamental matrix, we can use variation of parameters to then figure out the solution to these non-homogeneous systems as well.